Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today let's talk about the quarantine 15, or the COVID curves. Because as the world slowly returns to normal and us anime fans have to face society again, it's important to remember that the lifestyle we've been living hasn't been all that normal. And people gained weight. I gained weight, and I'm currently trying to turn that around by, by eating out less takeout and working out more. I used to be working out every single day, but now I've sort of made, I've sort of turned that into tennis every other day with Natalie. And it's not easy because being lazy and eating takeout are some of my favorite things to do. If only there was someone who could inspire me. Hey buddy, let John show you how it's done. No. No, no, let the rock get you swole. No. Come on. You know I am the best choice. Mm. No. Yes. Today we're talking about Hibiki Sakura from the series How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. And this show is a built of a guilty pleasure for me. Because yes, while it is a bunch of anime girls doing things, which is a genre, it's also a show that promotes healthy exercise and diet tips in an interesting and sometimes hilarious way. Which is refreshing, honestly. Hibiki Sakura here is a second year high school girl who loves to eat, which means she tends to gain weight, but she wants to have a hot summer bod. What's she gonna do? She reluctantly decides to join the Silverman Gym, and from there, with the help from some of her other health conscious classmates and personal trainer Machio, the group finds themselves learning to love the gym and the intense workouts. And it's... it's a really cute show. It's cute. Getting a closer look at the figure and the paint quality and hair sculpt are gorgeous. The facial expression and workout outfit are also cute, and I gotta say, more dark-skinned anime protagonists, please and thank you. Getting to her expressions and the one she's packaged with is already too adorable. The little anime fangtooth is so ridiculous in concept, but it always looks good, doesn't it? She also comes with this exhausted faceplate, and yeah, we've been there before. I also noticed that the location of the faceplate number moved from the top of the head to the inside. This may be because this Nendoroid here is being made in Good Small Company's Lucky Factory in Totori, Japan. Which is great, and may explain the high quality as well. Good Smile is hoping to actually make more figures in Japan and not China, so this is kind of cool for that reason as well. Her third and final expression is a limit expression, according to Good Smile. And yeah, let's just go with that. Getting to her accessories and Hibiki doesn't have any poseable joints except for her ponytails, which again, look great. To make posing easier, she comes with various arm and leg parts to get her in any pose you may want. Packaged with these straight arms, then she comes with a pair of bent arms, a pair of straight arms, except these are angled more in front of her body. We'll get there. And finally, she comes with this crossed arm piece to get that wall sit just right. Hibiki also has some different hands, starting with these open hands, grabbing hands, and an individual right grabbing hand that is meant to hold something a bit more delicate. Getting down to her legs and she's packaged with straight legs, but she also comes with a totally separate squatting lower body piece with bent legs. The legs can be interchanged between either lower body pieces. But what are hands and legs good for if she can't work out? That's what all these accessories are good for starting with these dumbbells, and they look pretty good. Cute little Nendoroid dumbbells. She also comes with a whole ass mini bench press. And this right here has to be that little extra above and beyond piece. It really grounds her in the series that she's from. And while she may have been fine without it, I think it goes to show the extra bit of care that was put into this. And finally, she has a little takoyaki octopus ball that goes into that individual right holding hand. And last but not least, she has the standard Nendoroid base and support arm. And honestly, this figure is neat. It's a slice of life kind of show and the figure really does some unique things that make it interesting. I think this figure is going to be underrated for a while and may even jump to the insane prices of Mei Sakura and Zero Two. If Good Smile has taught me anything, it's that when it's a cute anime girl and they care about them, they'll do a really great job. If you like the show, or working out, or even just like the design itself, I think you'd be safe in getting this. And that's my review. If you like this video, make sure to like or even subscribe. Let me know what you think about Hibiki here. 
and stay tuned for more content. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.